Hey y'all, what's going on? Redneck Ruff here, and welcome today to the first ever Pokemon Moon Combo Lock. I'm excited as hell to be able to do this. I finally got the 1.1 patch for Pokemon Moon upgraded and everything, got it repatched. Now I can actually stream, and I also randomize the entire game, so it is a randomized combo lock. Pokemon Bank is out, so we can wonder trade all that stuff. I'm going to go over the rules, but first let me go ahead and get hit this. That way we have something different on the screen than just those options there. Make it look all pretty for us. But, don't know if you know or not, combo lock involves rolling dice. One of these, a little six-sided die. And we're going to let Kakui sit there and adjust his camera a little bit. Just stare at us. As I get ready to explain the rules of a combo lock, first off, it follows the main Nuzlocke rules. You can only catch your first encounter in an area, but that is modified by the die. We will roll the die when we get to a new area. Uh, you have to nickname each Pokemon you get, and then if it dies in battle, you permanently box it or release it. I always prefer to just do a graveyard box for sentimentalities. Ooh, for sentimentality's sake. Also, if you guys like this layout, be sure to let me know. Made it myself just a couple days ago. Did the logo, everything. And also, whenever we get our first team member, you'll see how that appears on screen, right? But, the die, when we roll them, one, two, and three determine if we get our first, second, or third encounter in the route. If we roll a four or a five, we're going to wonder trade, which we will then re-roll to tell us how many times we wonder trade. And if we roll a six, we get to pick an all-star from our PC, which we will roll the dice to determine that as well. So it is all up to chance. That is a combo lock. I am done explaining. Let's go ahead and get the hell in here. I am as excited as fuck. Hey there, good evening. So today has finally come that you're moving to Hawaii. <laughs> I randomized all the text. Well, didn't I want to say randomized, but... I modified all the text in the game, and the thing is, it's been a week, two weeks, something like that. I've forgotten what all I've done. I randomized the encounters, I randomized TMs, shops, everything I could randomize. Trainer Pokemon, they even have a chance to have shinies now. But yeah. Hawaii is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare dual monsters, yeah? There's no sort of shortage of cool Digimon out here in Alola either. <laughs> <laughs> Such mysterious creatures. But today's introductory episode is going to be a long one. We're going to go up until we get our first encounter. You find them all over in the grass, in the caves, in the sky and sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon and we depend on depend on them heaps too. Some of them, some of us even battle with them if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rockruff, can you wait until I'm done talking to play? All right, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. Which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Huh. Oh, I got options here. I'm gonna go with this because I'm a strong, independent black woman who don't need no man. <laughs> options were yeah or nah. Okay, you're gonna get out the stylus of nicknaming. I already know what I want to name this bitch, though. Sharkisha! <laughs> we are Sharkisha, and we are a strong, independent black woman who don't need no man. So you go by Sharkisha? Yeah. <laughs> Ten four, good buddy. I'll let Ray out here know you're on your way. Sharkisha! <laughs> yeah, that's like, it's just like a song out of the sky. <laughs> Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. Oh, <laughs> I'm not ready for this. I am so ready. My body is ready. <laughs> Sharkisha, come out with the boxes. I need to edit here real quick. That is up all the way, so we're not going to be able to get any more text out of it. And we're not going to be able to do anything more with that. We get to watch this intro scene. And I love having this done without the lines in it, too. Get rid of the outlines on everything. So much better. 
Watch your chase, watch your run. Run, Forrest, run! I should know the layout of this place. Go and get yourself pinned. She just ran in the full fucking circle to get right back to there. And now we get to see this mysterious creature from outer space, which we all know and love is Nebby. Pokemon Moon presented by Game Freak. And I'm hoping we win the locks just so you can see how I modified the end credits. Three months later. Yeah, it's nice and quiet, no music or anything. Just slowly zooming in. Not like I got anywhere to be or anything. I have work in 10 hours. Oh well. It's 2 a.m., what do I care? Ah, a little rock rough. Rock rough. Rock rough. Ugh. Gonna give mom the burliest voice ever. Oh, could anything be more soothing? The first evening spent under a lawless calm moon. I feel like I could stay out here all night. That's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Yelf, go get your Keisha for me, would you? Fuck you. <laughs> I can just hear Meowth from the uh, Pokemon, like, anime in my head right now. Hey! Wake the fuck up! <laughs> uh, you know what? Fine. I'm up. Let's see. They're moving boxes full of porno mags. <laughs> Check the book your father gave you. Rule one, fuck bitches. <laughs> Rule two, get drunk. And this it reminds you of Chlorophyll. <laughs> oh my god, I can tell this is gonna be the less, the best let's play I've ever done. This gamepad with a screen. Did I do anything with this? It's a cute stuffed doll. It looks like Arceus, the mouse Pokemon. I didn't know Arceus was the mouse Pokemon. Wow, I learn something new every day. Ditto Pill and the Ditto Pill and Pokatoy are both covered in meow's claw marks. Whew. This is gonna be a great series. You're out like a light, weren't you? You gotta be full of testosterone by now. <laughs> How are we so black compared to our mom? So Sharkish, are you? So, Sharkeisha, are you pumped to meet some Digimon? Yeah, I am. That's right, I want to hurry up and mate some, too. <laughs> what? We're living in the Alola region now, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? You'd be surprised. This is like the Australia of the Pokemon world, right? Was that the doorbell? That's got to be Professor Kikui. Why don't you let him in, Sharkeisha? And yes, it is pronounced Kikui. It's from the fucking anime. What else I got here? There are mounds of Malasada waiting for you. Guys. And I don't really care. Just shut the hell up already. You're not even gonna bother Kikui yet. It's Meowth's bed, but it's hardly been you since your mom just prefers to sleep with your mom instead, winky face. Can I lay in mom's bed? No. Oh, well, we'll go get him. Let him in. <laughs> now, if it teleport, it's a teleport us. What the hell? 
Uh, hi there, Sharkisha. The name's Kikui. Good to meet you, fam. <laughs> fam. You're gonna be tired after the long trip all the way out here to Ohio. I thought this was Hawaii. You feeling any jet lag? We sure are a long way from Kansas out here. <laughs> Three different states already. Make up your goddamn mind! Still nighttime out here, yeah? Yes, Professor Kikui, we just arrived five minutes ago. Hey there, bitch! I <laughs> just let myself in. Oh, call me Kikui, would you? Welcome to Alola. Of course, I still remember you seeing Battle of those Indigo Gym Leaders back in Gando all those years ago, you know. I've been in love with Alolan Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. Huh. I was supposed to be visiting there to research can of Pokemon moves and all. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling those Kanto gym leaders proved me wrong. Hey now, Sharkisha. Let's gonna move on to the next town over. It's time for you to meet to Isla Kahuna. Get you some Pokemon, yeah? A yokai? <laughs> Shut a Kakuna, who lives in Iki Town, is always willing to give a kid who wants an adventure their first Pokemon, yeah? But don't try checking the Kahuna on yourself. Kahuna's a crazy strong Pokemon trainer. They're unbeatable for folks like you and me. They'll simply give my They'll simply give my girl a yokai. Then those kahunas are really worth meeting. Hey, you get ready, Sharkisha. Your bag and hat and things are still in the boxes in your room, I think. But didn't you leave a copy of Adventure Rules on your desk in there too? Oh, I got you bet you got a style and song that'll match mine, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Checked out the moving boxes. You pulled out your ears <laughs> and shit. <laughs> I got a watermelon bag. Get it? I'm black. I'm fu it's funny. Laugh. I sound like from Jersey right now. I live in West Virginia. A country boy. Cause we, we kick it back here in the sticks, you know. Go back here and get mud. Get a little dirt on the tires. You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you get back with your new Pokemon. <laughs> that's a new variation on the voice. Whoa, that's a style and slug, cousin. Didn't even say anything now. Your mom there. She's sure looking forward to seeing me around again, eh? So let's get going to Iki Town. Time to get a real nice Pokemon from the Island Kahuna. Oh yeah. Get on out of here. See, the thing is, I say it from Alola, I grew up in Brooklyn. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> I cracked myself up way too much with this shit. All I gotta remember this LP is talk to everyone, breed everything. That is more like it, yeah? Welcome to paradise. This is the ghetto. <laughs> Folks here in Alola work, get along by working together, Pokemon and working together. What the fuck? I can't even talk right now. After all, you can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you got Pokemon helping you out, yeah? That's why we gotta you get you to the Kahuna. I sound like Joey Wheeler. First, we're out to Iki Town. Come on. It's not far if we ride a boulder. <laughs> Fucking SpongeBob. I love myself already for this shit. Hey you! You look like you're having a good time strolling around Alola. You make me want to dash around too, but I can go even faster than you. Gotta go fast! Please don't tell me I fucked up with the power of science guy. The power of science is amazing! Simple press of a button, you can trade Pokemon or battle with people around you! Here we are. So, Shakisha, you loving a Lola already, yeah? Eh, I guess. That's what I like to hear. The more you love a Lola, the happier I'll be. Oh yeah, look there. Looks like an excited Lolan train has come to us. Hey viewer, be sure to like. Be sure to like the video and subscribe today, please. He asked for it. Even if he didn't misspell it, he said be sure to like the video and subscribe today. You gotta listen to a kid. 
I mean, are you gonna just make him cry? What are you gonna say to his parents then? Why, you already look... You already know which moves you wanna use, yeah? Come find me next time your Pokemon learns a new move and then I'll battle you. I'm just so black compared to everybody. See that? If you had a Pokemon with you, you could dive into the tall grass here. Yeah, try and catch some more Pokemon to add to your team. Which we'll be doing with this. This is going to be my cup I roll in. Oh, that's actually a good angle right there. I didn't think this would work. This is actually uh, like a beer can koozie. I got it in the camping section at Walmart. Because what happens is you can actually screw this part off. Stick your can down in there and screw this back on. It keeps the can colder for a lot longer. So I'm going to start drinking canned beer from now instead of bottled or just straight liquor. The trainers go up against one another and battle with Pokemon they love. Come on, Trump Jr. Hashtag make America great again. How's it? You're a new kid that just flew in. You're going to have a Pokemon battle sometime. Have a Pokemon gives you a whole new way to communicate with other poke people, see? Well, let's get moving. Inky Town's right over there. Now, I know in Patter's LP he's doing right now, the Sun Randomizer, he named this North Korea Town. I did not do that. And we're here. This is right here. It's Trump Town. <laughs> oh, my God. Also, shirt of the day. I'm wearing my Team Rocket shirt. Be sure to like and subscribe for that. I got this. Uh, where the hell did I get this? Bought it on Amazon for like 10 bucks. This town is where folk come to worship Pokemon that watches over Melee Melee Island. John Cena keeps us all safe and happy, see? <laughs> John Cena. He's a guardian deity. <clears throat> um, what's going on here? We're supposed to meet everybody right here, yeah? I'm out of water and my throat is hurting. Maybe they're all back there on my hollow trail. It's for the ruins of our guardian deity, John Cena, yeah? I say yeah enough to sound like I'm from Brooklyn. Shakish, do me a solid and go find the island Kahuna. All the way around here to make sure we don't miss each other. The island Kahuna? You can't miss him. He just looks just like a Kahuna. That's so helpful. Iki Town, the place where we give blowjobs to Pokemon. Oh my god. What did I do to this game? Tall grass is like a treasure trove full of all kinds of Pokemon just waiting to be found. Just having Pokemon on your side makes you feel all warm inside, doesn't it? Eating dinner together, playing together, enjoying spending time together, it's pure happiness. Please tell me I get something from you. Did you know when Rockwell really likes you, it rubs against you with the stones on his neck, but it does kind of hurt. My little brother's always coming home covered in mud just like his Pokemon. Two of them are more alike than he and I are. Alright, let's head on up here to the Mahalo Trail. Just mute that kahuna when you see the kahuna. He's a fat man, looks like a tuna. Really? What, sh what voice should I give her? Oh, really? You want to go to Pluto? I don't want you to hope to find there. What mysterious creatures! Pokemon sometimes leap out of the grass to help people in trouble, did you know? On sunny days like this, I just... What do you mean a sunny day? It is pitch fucking black outside, you moron! You trying to fuck me just because I'm black? Huh? Let's get on up here, though. Go up this trail. Get on up the Mahalo Trail. Also, another thing I want to do say is uh, the All-Stars we're going to have in the PC box that we can roll from. You guys are going to be suggesting those. So be sure to leave those down in the comments. They're all going to be level 5, so make sure they're base form. Like, if you want Charizard, you got to recommend a Charmander, recommend the nature, and then also the four moves you want it to have. And it has to be moves it can learn legally, whether let's level up, egg moves, TMs, whatever. So be sure to put all that down in a comment. Let me know what Pokemon you want to see. I know a few of them I'm going to be doing are... Uh, I'm going to be doing Delibird, Ghastly, 
Ralph and Clefairy, and then also a Teddy Ursa for myself. And then also a Deerling. But those are the first six. You can't come out. We'll get in trouble if anyone sees you. So one thing I'll do is I'll have six in the PC at a time. And then whenever I pick one out, I'll add another one in to fill its slot. Yep, here she goes. Whee! He just looks so happy. Aww. I don't know what voice I'm going to give Nebby either. Because he does have lines now, other than just pew. Ah, you're one of those maids we had in the ma mansion. Never mind me. You have to help it, please. Save Nebby. Oh shit, nigga! <laughs> Represent. My spirit are attacking it, but, but I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. All right, let's get on out of here. Let's see if I can stand on air here. Standing on air. Got my Jordans on. Here we go. Nebby's got a butthole. You didn't notice. The hell was that? Ooh. Look at our faces. <laughs> That's thumbnail material. Bye, John Cena! I can't see you anymore! Yo, you can't see me! I'm back, bitch. Actually, should I make him a brother? I'm back, bitch! Oh, oh thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you're trying to save me that time. Then I couldn't even help you in return. Oh shit, a rock! Oh shit, a Chris Rock! <laughs> that is. What did I just say, bitch? Sparkling stone? You know, it feels almost warm somehow. Please, forgive me. I'm so grateful you helped for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Are you the Kahuna? No, you dumb bitch. I think this must so much belong to you. Got the sparkling stone! And there it goes into the bag. And this is gonna be a long episode. Secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. Respect my authority! <laughs> I forgot I made that change. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's too much for me to ask, but do you think you can see us back to town? See, I was asking some other friends of mine who are Poketubers to help me out with some of the uh, edits I made to the text, and that one was a recommendation from uh, Teacup Clefairy. She's actually a very new Poketuber, just started beginning of the year. She's doing a Pokemon Prism Let's Play. It's not a Nuzlocke or anything, but it's definitely fun to watch. She's got the cutest voice in the entire world, seriously. So be sure to go ahead and check her out. Her link's going to be down in the description for you to go find her, subscribe to her. She's a good person. But yeah, the Cartman joke there was her idea over Skype one night. <clears throat> hey, Shakisha! Looks like you missed a kahuna, yeah? I mean, you found my assistant, oh yeah! Looks like you already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. 
Oh, um, yes, you can call me Lily. Hey, Lily, this here's Shakisha. She just moved you to Alola. Take good care of her. He's, this man's only got one volume, I swear. So, you're also one of the professor's acquaintances? It's nice to meet you. The Kuna's back! Now to get on with my life! Sumo Supreme! Joke me, Daddy! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, best LP ever! Have I missed something? Ah, but where'd you go off to, Kahuna? Thought we were meeting here. I am Kahuna of this island, after all. If there's a problem on the island, it's my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw John Cena flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby was being attacked by Spiro on the plank bridge when this girl helped to get away, but the bridge collapsed and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. That was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Well, that's something you don't hear every day! Oh, although it is said to protect us, our John Cena is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was so moved to save you. Kukui, my boy. I think we have cause to celebrate. It seems I shouldn't trust this brave and kind young girl with a Pokemon of her own. Get the dice cup ready. We'll make a fine trainer out of her. I'm glad I can meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui had told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Come, my Pokemon, let's have a look at you. Now, it may show Litten, Rallet, and Poplio here, but they are randomized. I have no clue what they are, and we're going to roll the freaking die here in a minute. This is the grass-type Pokemon, Rallet. I'm the best! Next is the fire-type Pokemon, Litten. I'm for single women in their 40s. And last is the water-type Pokemon, Poplio. Barks in Enochian. <laughs> It's funnier than Nokia, and I swear. Which Pokemon will you choose as your partner? The Dark type Bound Hour, Dragon type Fracture, and the Electric type Shinx. Yo! I am perfectly fine with all three of these! So, we're gonna roll the dice right now in this cup. If we get a one or a two, we're going with Hound Hour. Get a three or a four, it's gonna be Fracture. If we get a five or a six, it's gonna be Shinx. So let's do this! And we are going to have ourselves a nice, lovely two, meaning we are gonna get ourselves a Hound Hour. We choose the Grass type Pokemon Rallet. Yeah. So you chose for <laughs> I love how all the yes-no things are going to be yeah, nah, from now on. Only when you have both chosen each other can you truly call each other partners. Dude, I would have had loved to have had a Haxorus, though. Guillotine out the ass. Let us see if little Rallet there also decides to choose you. Rallet has its gaze fixed on you. Shaking his head no. Nick of what? <laughs> Just very soft. Nick of what? He flew over to me. Oh. You lifted Rallet gently in your arms. And there we have it off. Starter Pokemon is going to be a... <laughs> <laughs> so, little Rally has accepted you as well, Sharkisha. Have accepted one another. I'm surely you'll surely be friends for life. Would you like to give Hound Hour a nickname? Yes, we are. What do I name a Hound Hour though? Let's see if it's male or female. It is a male. And we're gonna let the uh, Nick stylus of nicknaming choose the first letter. We're gonna start with a V. I feel like I'm going to follow that up with an I am. Vimron. That works. That is the stylus of nicknaming at its best. Vimron has been added to the party. And he's also on screen. 
Nice to meet you, Rallet. <laughs> Call him Vimrod. Sup, dog? Oh, where did you get out again? I know the Kahuna Hall and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm. You should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take very good care of it. That's it, Sarkeesha. Now you got a Pokemon, you're a real Pokemon trainer, yeah? It is a lovely gift for me to help make it special, cousin. Got a Pokedex. Your partner Rowell is already registered, yes, so check it out. And this is a trainer passport that I had put together for you. <clears throat> now why don't you go and introduce your new friend to your mom, Sharkeisha? Let's go do that right now. Oh, no. Hey, you and me, let's have a yokai battle. <laughs> Where's the fire, boy? What kind of Pokemon battle would that be where you don't even give a name first, huh? Fair enough, then. I'm Getsis. My partner's Poplio. Your Rowlet looks really cool, too. No shit. Yeah, so let's battle. Couldn't wait for you to find your way to Yiki Towns. I've been looking all over for you. Um, I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Oh yeah, your first battle already! Just have your Pokemon dish out some moves and see who wins! Whoa! I appreciate you being willing to take on my grandson here. I expect a no hold no hold barred battle from the both of you. Let's do this. You'll battle me, right? I know you will, right? And I won't lose. Alright, this is gonna be great! Very well then. Let the po Very well then, let the Pokemon battle begin. Challenge by Pokemon Trainer How. Chen Chow. This could be trouble for me. Hopefully, I have a dark type or a normal type move with Vimron. Otherwise, I'm going to lose already. But the thing is, if I lose here, it. Level 7 already? I think I messed up the level modifier. Shit. Let's see if we can get through this, though. Lear, Ember, and Hal. And he's going straight for Bubble. So I haven't got Pokeballs yet, so that means the Nuzlocke hasn't started yet. Meaning, I can't lose the lock yet. Yeah, he just goes for a straight clean 2-KO. Two two This is going to be interesting for the rest of the LP. Levels like this. Hooey, that gave me herpes. <laughs> Sharkeisha, right? Your rally was awesome. Now that settles it. I'm going all out tomorrow. Sharkeisha, would you be so kind to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Could it be? Tutu, isn't that... You were rescued by John Cena at the bridge, isn't that what I heard, Sharkeisha? Yeah, rescued me. So it even deigned to give you a stone. Perhaps you're here in Alola, Sharkeisha, because this is where you're meant to be. Allow me to borrow this stone for now. Fret not, I'll return it to you tomorrow evening. It would seem that you have the makings of a fine trainer. You must do us the honor of joining in our festival tomorrow. First, I'll make sure you get back home safe, though, today. Lily, you two should come with us, too, yeah? I wouldn't want to go losing you twice in one day. You are that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I'll keep an eye on. Yep, there he <laughs> Bitches ain't shipping tricks in hoes! Oh, you! Would you not try to escape the very moment you're told not to wander off? Aww. I'm also glad with this layout, the screen is much larger. I can actually read things now. Without much strain. 
Welcome back, Sarkisha! So, what kind of Digimon did you get? Don't keep me waiting! Hey, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I'm falling in love. So, why did you choose this, sweetheart? To make memes. Well, now you fucked up! Now you fucked up now! <laughs> The two of you look great together. I feel happy just looking at the pair of you. I sound like the. Those, oh, I can see the future! <laughs> hey, let me out. So, all the levels of Pokemon, I believe, are now going to be increased by 50%. So, that means if someone normally has a level 20, they're instead going to have a level 30. If they normally have a level 50, they're going to have a level 75. That means when I get to the Pokemon League, he normally starts off with like a level 58, almost 60. He's going to have almost level 90. I gotta fix that. Oh, what a stunning job! Alright, today's the day I finally am back! Is that the doorbell? To see a new Sharkisha. See, doing her voice like that puts no strain on my throat and it's a lot funnier. Hey there! Hey there, Sharkisha! About time we set up for the orgy! <laughs> but first, that's your real Pokemon trainer with your own Pokemon and all I've got to show you something. Come out with me to Route 1! Have fun at the festival, sweetie! I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokémon, pal! Me and me, I'll be sure to unpack every last box here, you'll see! WHAT?! I forgot to do her voice already. So sets the tone for this LP. Also, I can see a slight bit of black on this. There we go. Don't know if you noticed that adjustment. Hey, Shakisha, hurry it up, cousin! Pretend you coke a bane and use your shotgun! <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! <laughs> oh! Oh man. Now is the tutorial gonna be randomized? I'm curious and I'm hopeful it is. I wanna see what he can do. So you know the wild Pokemon sometimes jump out of the tall grass, yeah? Now you've got Rowlet there, you can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah, you can also try to catch them. Woo! I'm gonna show you how to catch a wild Pokemon, alright? Keep your eyes on the prize! Nope, still a picky peck. Now, I remember hearing that the very first encounter you get to in the game is not randomized, so if we do encounter a picky peck and we roll a one on the die, we're going to re encounter anyway. Got to weaken a Pokemon a bit before you can try and lob a Pokeball at it. It's a little cut off, but whatever. 50 Pokeballs. Kukui, what do you need that many Pokeballs for? I also believe that this route is a 100% capture rate also. So, gives me an idea. Oh yeah! Well, Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah? But if your Pokemon get all tuckered out by fighting for you, just head home for a bit. If you ask your mom, I'm sure she'll let you and your whole team rest up at home. Well, I could use some potions. Here, kid. Come and grab some of my balls. I misspelled that. C and S are by each other. It's pretty close on the keyboard. Got ten Pokemon, five potions. 
Why don't you have a little adventure yo on the way to Iki Town? Yeah, take good care of Shakisha, Rowlet. And this is where we are going to roll our die and figure out what our encounter on this route is going to be. Remember, one, two, or three, we get the first, second, or third encounter. Four or five, we get to wonder trade that Pokemon. We'll roll to determine how many times. And if we get a six, we get an all-star, which uh, we won't be able to do until we get to the first Pokemon Center. But we are going to roll... A six, which means we are going to get an all-star, which means we just have to cash our first encounter here to be able to claim that. Ooh, Trap Hinge, that ain't bad. Come on out, Vimron. And let's go ahead and hit this thing with a sick ember. The sickest of embers. And they use Bite. I ain't doing much. Oh yeah, I can just hit Y for Pokeballs. I keep forgetting about that. Yeah, 100% capture rate. And we're going to nickname this thing All-Star. That way we remember when we do get to the PC, this thing will be swapped out for an All-Star. Data going to be added to the Pokedex. Trap Inch. The Ant Pit Pokemon. As it digs through the sand, its giant jaws crush any rocks that obstruct its path. It builds a funnel-shaped nest. So now I was looking down for that. And we are going to name you All-Star. There we go, because... This trap inch is not officially on the team, not until we swap it out for something. And if we catch anything that's going to be wonder traded, we are going to name it our R token or Redneck Rough, whichever works out. I'd say Redneck Rough just to help promote the channel a little bit, but we're going to go ahead and save here, guys, because remember, only you can prevent lost save data. So let's go ahead and hit this up real quick. And there we go. So, next time we come back, we're going to pick up. Hopefully, I'll have the levels thing fixed already. But, this looks like it's going to be a fun series to get into. So, until next time, guys, I am Redneck Rough. Get her done.